The massive protests that have shaken the nation in the wake of Ethiopian Israeli Solomon Tekka's death continued into their third day on Wednesday, but they were mostly muted as opposed to the energetic and sporadically violent demonstrations from earlier this week. And this, as a statement from Tekka's family, called for restraint and patience until after the seven-day Jewish mourning period, which ends this Sunday. Speaking to Ynet, the family explained that we have lost a child, and we asked the public not to protest until the end of the Shiva mourning period, adding that they will hold legitimate protests in an organized manner at the end of this period. And so until then, quote, we call on all the youths and their parents to refrain from provocation and unnecessary violence. And it seems that both protesters and the general public have largely heeded the call, because while 136 people have been arrested since the start of the demonstrations and 111 officers have been injured, most of the protests have started to wind down, and they were marked by quiet and civility. For example, in Kiryat Atta, marchers walked quietly from the police station to the playground where Teka was killed without any reports of incident. And in Tel Aviv, very few pockets of clashes and arrests broke out, while cars backed up for miles by the Azraeli towers simply waited, barely making a sound. Further, the crowds of protesters consisted of Israelis from all walks of life, and not just Ethiopian Israelis. Though police and government ministers continued to urge for calm, calling for a harsh response to any who greatly disturbed the public or caused harm. And meanwhile, the off-duty police officer who shot and killed Solomon Teka just six months after the shooting death of Yehuda Biadga will likely be charged with negligent homicide, and this as opposed to manslaughter, because investigations apparently suggest that the officer did not intend to kill, but rather his bullet bounced off the ground, hitting the 19-year-old Teka in the chest.